Oh, hey, where's Mike? Oh, yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, that was that was clever and inventive and unique. Yeah. Burt Ward was the original Robin. In the 1960s Batman. In, in the 1960s Batman. The original television actor Robin. People know who Burt Ward is. Hey, the, the, no, no one knows who Burt Ward is by name. I, no one knows I, who Burt Ward is because Burt Ward isn't I a know. person. Not save our ship, but yeah. save our soul. But there's no, there's no dot, so it's not an acronym, so it's sauce. <laughs> it wasn't really the ghost taking control, it was the ghost possessing David from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. <laughs> oh boy. They're riding around in what essentially looks like the Captain Christopher Pike uh, wheelchair from yeah. the original series of Star Trek, which probably goes just about as fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. What were their names? Linda and... Uh, Linda Betty. Okay. And Betty. Oh, that's... Th these are the names that we gave them. Yeah. Um, we find out their real names in the end, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at that point because they're dead. Too late. Um, so they're on this set. It looks like a cable access. Ironically, they're nothing but bones at this point. <laughs> Jimmy. Well, everyone's thinking it. <laughs> Look at it. Every, everyone's you're, thinking it. You're gonna feel really bad when you find out they're still alive and they watch this. <laughs> The grandkids like, oh, grandma, you're on the you're on this show that I like. Yeah, you know why they're still alive? Because they did the dance of Astro. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you broke Colin. Oh no, Colin's right. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the dance. Check your check your heart rate. There's nothing but bones. Check your heart rate. Check your heart rate. Your Find your pulse. <laughs> <balls. laughs> I, I just had an image of a kid on the beach like building a sandcastle, and then an airbag exploding. <laughs> Lucas clearly was not anticipating the internet. <laughs> no, not at the time. No. Circa... It was like, like, 2000? Okay. Well, 2000, like 15 years ago? So before the September 11th attacks. Yes, it was before. That was a wonderful thing to bring up during this cheerful holiday discussion about Star Wars. No, it's not a trend. Rich, it's perfectly in Spock's character to jump onto a flying hover vehicle. <laughs> and punch somebody <laughs> repeatedly. And punch someone repeatedly in the face. Yes. While screaming emotionally. While screaming, I'm going to murder you, you <laughs> cocksucker, motherfucker. That's, that's pretty much what Leonard Nimoy did with Spock in the original 1960s Well, series. Leonard Nimoy just was like a, a, a pinch more nuanced. Yeah. I, I'd like it's to It's a little bit more, but... Yeah. I, I, I've always seen Spock as a character who punches someone in the face over yeah. and over again. And crying. And crying. A Were you hoping show? the whole time that Lumpy got killed? It did happen a long time ago. They're probably all dead by now. Yeah, yeah. They're most likely dead. A, lo a long time ago in a graveyard far away? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The bad guys, they know they're they're dealing with somebody somebody tough, so they go to the helicopter. They dig out the, the big laser, the, the yeah. shoulder the, giant. The BFG. Cannon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's Worf's purple space it was, Okay. So, our next movie of the night is uh, The Tomb. Uh, Mike, can you tell us about The Tomb? Uh, Josh, could you tell us about The Tomb? No. What's next? Zig Ziglar presents Courtship After Marriage. Romance can last a lifetime. Two powerful segments. <laughs> uh, two powerful segments. So it, it must, maybe two themes, two separate themes? I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Well, maybe he gets married again in this, uh, I don't know, another segment, like after the fact. Romance can last a lifetime. He's sitting and she's kneeling. Yeah, she's, he's prepping her for... Disappointment? Th uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, she's, he's prepping her for two powerful segments. <laughs> I think it's okay, I don't see a rope. <laughs> Scientist man. Mm -hmm who is the same actor who played Admiral Dougherty in Star Trek Insurrection, which should be noted. Is that Ernest Borgnine? No, it's Martin Balsam. 
Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. It's a low rent Ernest Borg. Ernest Borg not. Or in German, Ernest Borgnein. Can we talk about the Star Trek guy? And the you Star go ahead. Well, there's multiple Star Trek things. Yeah. The, 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 there's a guy in this film. He plays the police chief. Me and Rich are like, we know that guy. We know that guy. He's from something. He's from something. And he's the, the episode where Wesley Crusher and three <laughs> other cadets um, get tried for a crime. They're, 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 hot, they're pilots. They're on a piloting mission in the academy, and they do a dangerous maneuver. That's, that, that's the episode that has Tom Paris, who isn't really Tom Paris. Although his backstory lines up perfectly with Voyager, so he should have been Tom Paris. He was going to be, but then they would have had to have given the writer of that episode royalties oh, for the Voyager show. But a, originally, it was going to be. But anyway. 5% of the profits from the sale of Baby Vision will be donated to the Guild for Infant Survival of SIDS. How does an infant survive SIDS? It's called Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. You don't survive SIDS. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, he has this, he's like this boring guy. And I, I guess I looked him up online. Thank God he's dead. Um, <laughs> oh, like, no, just, like, no. That's not want, something just, you I, say about someone. Well, I just, I don't care. I don't want this man around. <laughs> and the man made this video, and I had to watch it. Damn girl. He looks like Khan. Uh, he has oh, Khan that's here. Um, and I discovered a little interesting fact. It is a David Pryor film. Hey. I picked it because it stars Denise Crosby, oh. AKA uh, Lieutenant Tasha Yar, who uh, Denise Crosby made the very wise decision to leave Star Trek The Next Generation and a lifetime of royalties to star in such films as Mutant Species. <laughs> She could be, she could be making like William Frakes money, Jonathan Frakes money, William Frakes, William Riker, Jonathan Frakes. I fuck that up too. I fuck everything up. You really need to take your diabetes medicine. Also, the film stars Wilford Brimley. Uh, speaking of diabetes, <laughs> oh, <laughs> first. no, it's like the Wrath of Khan when they pull the slug out of the back of the the thing. Future Force stars uh, sixty percent David Carradine, forty percent alcohol. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this evil man, no, Normad, which is like the weirdest name. Uh, Normad. You, there's, that's yeah. not a name. That's just like a word that they it, made up. It sounds like a mixture of Nomad, mm -hmm. the, the autonomous uh, robot from the original Star Trek series, and Norad. Yeah. Have you seen? Have you, with children. Have you read our comments? I'm not going to make it two more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Because he got that diabetes. Yeah. He's got diabetes. Yeah, I always say you have diabetes, and everyone believes it. Yeah. So I I'm going to keep saying it. Well, they, yeah, they think he has diabetes. They think you're an alcoholic. Mm. It's just, yeah, I don't it's know like, why they would think that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Ah! It was Hitler with a bazooka, and he hit a palm tree in a graveyard. Especially since accidents that involve seniors are often deadlier, given the frail state of older bodies. Their uh, bones become more brittle. They are less flexible, they're less resilient, and uh, more prone to bleeding and bruising. All she did was say their bones become less brittle and you started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture like an old lady flying through a windshield. <laughs> Does your parents' car have new dents or nicks? This is like speaking to the, the kids or the younger family members. A child shoe, perhaps. <laughs> A in the grill. A finger lodged in the front. Yes. <laughs> Have they pledged allegiance to ISIS? <laughs> and you don't know why. It sounds like a failed 90s comic book, Justice Inc. It, yeah. You, you, need a, you need a title that sounds more like, like a secret organization, like the all-seeing eye. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. They didn't have time for that in this movie. They were just like, Justice Incorporated, whatever. The or, or you operate out of the back of like a like a bakery, and you just use the name of the baking company, uh, and then no one's gonna suspect you of anything. Yeah, that's true. Oh no no no! A, a company, a, a, a company that that like they, they bag the ice, and just ice. Oh, that's perfect. That's the perfect cover, Rich. The logo. <laughs> The, the logo on the bag of ice, the manufacturer will just be a gun. 
<laughs> Not even doing that great of what a job. What did I sell just... here at the store? Oh, just ice, just ice. <laughs> incorporated. I'll have a ten-pound bag. Oh, we don't sell ice. <laughs> We're all out of ice. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say there's more dicks in Mad Foxes than Wrigley Field. <laughs> Rich likes those jokes. Rich, Rich appreciates a good, of the baseball jokes. Rich likes the socks, the white socks. Aiming at Little Bigfoot, and then we hear a gunshot, and then the guy from Star Trek The Next Generation comes out, and he's like, all is well. The, the lady who could play the piano in the Uhura costume, although we don't actually see her fingers on the key. And he is not unfamiliar with large bunnies, as you'll see from this clip from the original Star Trek series, from the episode titled, This Side of Paradise. One side, one side. I'm late, I'm late. Oh, my fuzzy ears and whiskers, I'm late. Mike, that's, that's the wrong clip. What? That's a clip of the Star Trek animated series episode where they reference McCoy seeing the bunny. Oh, no, 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 no. Yikes. You, everything's wrong. You're <laughs> using the wrong clips. Who's in charge? <laughs> Nobody. This side of paradise, when, 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 when the flowers explode in Spock's fa face. You can explain it to me all you want. It doesn't change the fact that I don't know what you're talking about. And, and, I haven't and, seen and, it. And there's the damsel in distress with the... No, wait, that's not the flowers in the face episode. No. That's... <laughs> the bunny episode is the episode where their hallucinations become real. Shore leave. It's called shore leave. Sorry. Oh. You're right. This side of paradise. Shore leave. Josh, of shore course. Leave. Of course. We, we should have known. Thank Everybody you, knows we shore leave. Known. Thank you, Come Rich. Come on. This side of paradise is the episode where, where hallucinogenic flowers explode in people's faces and, ma and turn them into hippies. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's closer than I thought, actually. Spock says, you know, fuck, fuck work. I'm just going to lay here with this lady and, and just relax. And I'm not sun. going back, Jim. Shore leave is when they go on a planet where all their fantasies come to life. Mm. Oh, my paws and whiskers. I'll be late. Thank you. <laughs> so who? The, the, the bunny death scream. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Which, honestly, in this movie was fucking underused because that sound is terrifying mm. and it's not really in the movie apart from the very beginning. Look, all you people that live in L.A. and New York. It's <laughs> us Midwesterners. We know the death rattle of bunnies. Every now and then we hear the death rattle of a bunny <laughs> when it gets killed by a coyote. Bunnies don't make a fucking sound their whole life until a coyote gets them. And then they go... 20 years ago, a deadly accident forced Eddie Berber from his home. Uh, when Eddie was younger, he never got his chance to be part of the family business, the Berber Haunted House. Ooh, we got haunted houses. Now that he's home, he wants to play. I have he, a Berber Haunted House. Does have the, the no, it ring doesn't have to a, it. quite a ring, a ring to it. Like, yeah. like, like Berber factory bolts. <laughs> Well, I think of like Gerber. I think of yeah. like baby food. I think I think of more like like uh, Berber washer and nut company. <laughs> Ber Berber Berber PVC pipes and plastic not, uh, caps. But, but, okay, this doesn't exist. This is just the no, sound. It, just it Berber you... sounds like. Oh, I think I'm thinking of Gerber. There's a company called Gerber. That's what Auto... I just said. But they're named baby food. No, no, no. It's a different company. They repair your car. Okay. Auto Auto collision repair Gerber. <laughs> So, so, so Ber Berber <laughs> is not a good name for a, ha a haunted house. I didn't know there were so many Gerbers. Do Dr. Spooky's haunted house. <laughs> or, you know, there's so many, so many other names in Berber. Oh, God. Berber's Donuts. Berber's, Berber's Meat and Poultry. <laughs> Just keep saying Berber. Berber can go in front of any particular business other than a haunted house. <laughs> Future the desk, desk was like a like a Star Trek: The Next Generation like flat panel like. Yeah. Well, he, well, he works at uh, the Biodome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Star, Starfleet headquarters. He works at Starfleet <laughs> headquarters. She needed that job for Mother Sick. Welcome to Terrasphere Eight, Starfleet Command Recreation. And the rest, we add a. Is that just a big pile of headstones? <laughs> Whoa! Is that like the graveyard headstone dumping ground? Frank Stallone's mother exercising. I mean, why would you go to Frank Stallone and not Sylvester Stallone? They're both his mother. <laughs> They're both what? She's both <laughs> their mother. There's other things going on in here, but that's there is. 
Well, yeah, there's some, there's some things. <laughs> so here's some mows being lawned. <laughs> <laughs> there's some lawns being mowed. Sharp. Yeah. Depressing. Uh, like, like the chessboard with the wine glass and the rose happening? on it, or that kind of look. It just really. We, it's like you, your brain just stopped. What are you trying yeah, to think It's of? like you were about to make a joke and then Did your you, brain yeah. just <laughs> shut down. Wow. It's <laughs> depressing. Uh, I, I want to say. Well, wow. oh, I'm, I'm watching a joke die in your frontal lobe. <laughs> right. like, it has. Depressing. Um, <laughs> You'll get it out. Just give him a minute. Just give him a second. Uh, Won't you please help? What, folks, <laughs> your donations. If you can will go find so Mike's long. joke for the price of <laughs> for the price please of please mail it to us. us. For the price of a cup of coffee, Jolly you Christ. can help Mike. Um, uh, what is the building everyone lives in? Apartment. Depressing. Our, our <laughs> apartment. What is the building everyone lives in? <laughs> Depressing. Earth. Our the building everyone lives Depressing. in is Earth. Wait, wait, wait. That was the joke. What was the joke? Depressing. What was the joke? I don't know. It's, it's, it's like- it's It wasn't like, even a joke. Oh my God, your brain shut down making an observation. Like you wasn't even- made. You weren't even- Oh, Lemro, <laughs> what have you done to me? Oh, that's music. What'd you think it was? I thought it was like bacon frying. <laughs> what? It's, what? it's, it's, it's so tinny. What? <laughs> of course. Oh. But here, don't forget these. Gotta be responsible. Peanuts? Oh. How are you doing? Are we watching a movie today? Oh, why, yes we are. And I have it right here. Star Trek The Next Generation? Oh, wow, that's great news. I love Star Trek The Next Generation. It would be great news if we were watching Star Trek The Next Generation. We're going to go on vacation with our girlfriend. We're gonna take some babes and wander around in the woods. And that's our movie. <laughs> I just spent I just spent the last like like four minutes trying to formulate a joke <laughs> with with their two matching kung fu vans and vanity project. Oh, okay. Oh. And, and you know what? I just so the only thing you came up with is the idea of a joke. It just didn't work. Yeah. I'm like I'm I'm just like this nothing's firing in my brain. <laughs> it's been rotted to the core. <laughs> By, it's been a rough night. Uh, all these movies tonight. Uh, your, your efforts were in vain. Uh, <laughs> that took five seconds, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it is a quintessential dual vanity project. Three. And Zach Galligan appeared on an episode of Star Trek Voyager. Uh, uh, Arthur. Oh yeah, because you Sorry. see their names in the credits. Ben. Oh, we're gonna just keep fucking that up. No, no, see, I have, a, I have a system. Ready? Okay. Ben, right? Yeah. B for bald. As in, not bald. <laughs> okay? B for bald as in not, not bald? bald? So, bald. As in balding. Like, yeah. Sam, aka Arthur, A, is the one that's balding. B. You've lost me. Reverse it. Reverse it. It would be so much easier. Sam, I give up. Sam is the main character. He, he's A. A comes before B. Oh. Who's Ben? Yes. Okay. And also, when you think of B, if 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 it would it would be so much easier if the balding one was named Ben, right? But Ben is bald. <laughs> yes. B B. Then flip it. Ben is not the one that's balding. Okay. That's so simple and elegant, Mike. Ben, ben is so, <laughs> You just gotta invert it in your head. Ben is the one with the glorious head of hair. Arthur is the one who has alopecia. <laughs> right? Okay. Got it. Ben. Ben. All right. You got rid of. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's oh. dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle. During that episode of time, the Timescape episode from Star Trek: The Next Generation. <laughs> we got a nice little five-pound pumpkin here, and the first thing we have to do is get the top off. So why did your wife leave you? <laughs> and they want a great big, huge knife. And how did she die? <laughs> oh, but I noticed something interesting about the cover which we talked about off camera. I had made a mental note to bring it up in the discussion, but I totally forgot to. But 
on the space jacked cover. The spaceship that appears is not the spaceship in the film, but it is in fact an upside down Romulan warbird ripped off from Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, mixed with some other kind of spaceship y components. So, uh, Jay, the editor of the segment, will show in detail a side by side comparison, you're probably looking at it now, of the Space Jack cover and this, which is a Romulan Warbird. Oh, I, I, I've gotten blinded by mace or pepper spray. I can't have my eyes fixed by traditional doctors. I have to get a Geordie LaForge visor 